Honestly, I think I'm more scared holding a baby. <laughs> When I look at a crocodile, what I see is 300 million years of evolutionary perfection on Earth with us today. I see beauty, power, grace, intelligent, and physiologically unique. Over there. Everything from their ability to camouflage themselves, cool. the sensors they have all over the body for picking up vibrations underwater, the four-chambered heart that allows them to hold their breath for hours. <laughs> and just incredibly smart as well, incredibly smart animals. They're the only reptile with a fully developed cerebral cortex. They can plot, they can plan, they can think, and they can remember. Just absolutely incredible, incredible beings. They're an apex predator, so the top of the food chain. The ecosystem is dependent on these guys being in the ecosystem and maintaining balance. <laughs> Might be a little underweight. I bet you he is. They've survived hundreds of millions of years. But now, the American crocodile is in danger of extinction in the base. <laughs> Development in habitat destruction is the biggest issue. Untold amount of destruction happening. development here is not going to stop. The only way they're going to survive is if people are willing to coexist. Us catching a crocodile and moving it away is not a long-term solution. It's not going to change anything if we can't change people's hearts and minds about these animals. What is this? It's a crocodile. That's right. She has control. He can't do anything. Can you give it a little touch, see? Get them to understand the importance of them. And just try and get them to see how cool these animals are. They're, they're super cool. I want a show of hands and I'll pick. Oh, too many hands, I don't know. How long can they go without food? Ah, that's an excellent question. The ones on the island, the American saltwater crocodile. They can go for a very, very long time, about six months before he starves to death. Always be careful of crocodiles. They're predators. The animal that has the strongest bite force in the world, it's incredible. But usually when they see us, when they hear us, smell us, their natural instinct is to run away. More questions. We love sharing with other people, sharing our passion. I started with Aces as a volunteer. When I came from England, I found myself going out to these croc spots and just sit there and watch them. I mean, it's absolutely fascinating. So I reached out to Vincent and his wife, Cherie, the founders of ACES, and just said, I'd love to help you guys doing what you're doing. Now, it's just like a scuba goggle when they're underneath the water. Cherie's an excellent biologist. She's great at teaching. Um, I'm good at catching. <laughs> Come on. One, two, three. Now, I didn't actually think I'd be wrestling crocodiles of any size. <laughs> I thought we'd be on a boat with a flashlight going, oh, there's one, there's one, there's one. When I first started dealing with crocs, my mind was blank with fear, and I just did whatever Vince told me. Like, Vince says, hold this rope, I hold it. All right, all right. Vince says, jump, I jump. My responsibilities have increased over time. And now, Vince and Sharia are stepping back, and I run almost everything Belize related. Hello, Aces. Uh huh. We'll be there in like 10 minutes. When I was a little bright eyed high school kid, 
Broomfield, Colorado, I never thought in a million years that I could be working with crocodiles one day in Belize. I'm wondering if somebody hasn't caught him before. Because look, he's got wounds. These two marks here. Somebody had a rope on him for a long time. I want to take him home. Yeah. I came down to Belize to help open a skydiving center. I've always had a fascination with animals. So when I found out that there are crocodiles here, I knew I just had to find a way to see them. Somebody introduced Christina to me. And he was like, oh, you know, this crazy skydiver heard there was crocs here and wants to like, help out in some way. Ah, uh, now he's behaving like a mole eddy. Grab that tail, straighten him out. I ain't got no room back here. Up the fence. Get out. You got him. It's a learning experience every single day. Oh, I love it. I love that I'm doing something to help a species, something bigger than myself. And Chris is a fantastic teacher. Let's scan him just to be sure that he's a newbie. He's so full of passion, it's infectious. I am making sure there is no microchip in him. So yeah, nothing came up. He is a newbie. So he's gonna get a microchip along with his measurements. That's what got me. Moving from fascination to passion was Chris. Now he has a record. It's always important to always be able to identify any croc we've had our hands on. His love for it made me fall in love with it as well. These now like 17 centimeters. Okay. Slip that under you there, my love. And over time, we just fell for each other. <laughs> we fell in love. It's kind of funny because ACES was founded by Vince and Cherie Rose. They were the ultimate croc couple. Now Chris and I are a couple. Right, get on. So we're the new croc couple in Belize. Brought together via crocodiles. Beautiful, beautiful creatures. <laughs>